What's up guys, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is I, the one and only OP Skills, back again for another episode of Victory Gaming Network, and it feels like ages since I've done my last Fallout 4 video, but I thought I would go ahead and show you guys my uh, settlement in Fallout 4. Now, I want to get thing one thing out in the open, I'm not exactly a very creative uh, uh, person. So, uh, take this with a grain of salt, really, like, I don't know, I think it's, pr I think what I did is pretty good, I'm pretty pr uh, proud of it, so, anyway, we start off here at Red Rocket Truck Stop, I've got sort of like a missile turret up there, and on here I've got like a sanctuary ahead, because this is where the main settlement is actually at, so, if we go on up here to the, to the bridge, All right, now here we are at the bridge. This uh, is my arena that I built. It's really not the greatest. It's just kind of basic, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. they will save that for the last. Now, as we come up here, this is the main gate. Got a, uh, a guard post here. Nothing really too special, just a bunch of defenses. Over here is just housing. I've got some beds and stuff in here. Uh, just mattresses and sleeping bags. Now as we leave this area, walk on up here, and okay, so apparently I'm under attack by super mutants. Oh man. Okay, I think that's all of them. Alright, so, anyway. Continue on with the tour now if I don't get attacked by super mutants again. Here is the general trader. Now I've really got a bunch of stores all over the place because I'm try I tried to get that that stupid achievement where uh, you get your settlement to 100% happiness. I haven't exactly got to that point yet. Here's some more housing over here. A couple more beds and things in here. Uh, as we leave here and go up here i think i'm under attack again but whatever my settlers can handle it just fine go up here and this is just another house basically uh just one of the prefab shacks i didn't actually make this uh and over here is some more housing Go up here, and then there's like three beds there with like a footlocker in front of them. Uh, there is the clothing store here, and I also have a super mutant cage here, which is empty currently. I don't have any in there. A mutant hound cage and a gunner's cage. Uh, I actually opened up the gunner's, gunner's cage because I was trying to test out the uh, beta wave emitter there, but it didn't work out. I believe, uh, yeah, well, I was going to try and do, like, a rec room kind of thing with this. The pool table. I'll just put some little activities in here, and it's also uh, kind of housing as well. Uh, and then we go up here. This is basically the center of it. Uh, you've got the armor trader there. Now, and here is all of my power armor. This is just my work area. This is workshop, power armor, all that stuff. Everything, tools and everything. Uh, there is my Adam Katz T60 suit of power armor. My, well, this is kind of like a makeshift of everything. It's got Institute X01, Raider Power 2s, and Winterized T60. Now, this is the power armor that I usually use, and this is all uh, the three Winterized Tesla parts, and then the rest of it is Winterized T60. Uh, half X01 that I'm currently working on, and there is my Institute X01 full suit. Uh, this is the T45 power armor, and there's my other power armor. So, as you can see, I still got a lot of projects going on with those, with my power armor. Uh, there is the general trader there. This is all the, the farming and the food and things like this over here. Just uh, mutt fruit, corn, uh, just all just different farming and stuff like that. Uh, these are another couple more shacks. There's really nothing interesting, just some beds and stuff in there. And I believe this is more housing over here. 
Now, as we come up here, this is uh, my armory that I actually built, and I'll show that to you guys real quick. Um, it's really just kind of a showcase, really, more than anything. Uh, I got a lot of my different just guns and different things like that in here that, uh, I don't know, like some of, some of them are legendary, some of them aren't. Just a bunch of random guns that I threw in here because it's an armory, it needs guns in it, so, yep. I'll just put a bunch of guns in here. Nothing really, you know, too awful special. There's some more of it there. And, okay, as we're leaving the armory, this is my house. Uh, I built this pretty much on my own. I built it, well, I built it on my own, but it's, it's supposed to be mine, but some of my settlers actually come in here and sleep in my bed every once in a while, which annoys the shit out of me. I'm thinking about building an up um, upstairs to it as well, maybe building a loot room and things like that in there, maybe. Uh, and then as you walk in, pretty basic stuff. There's all my bobbleheads, actually. I have the full collection of bobbleheads. There is the stove, my magazine rack, living room area, or living area, whatever you want to call it. And in here is the bedroom. Uh, nothing too awful special. I just got some clothes and stuff like that in there. There's really nothing, like I said, too special. But, uh, now we will finally get down here to the arena, which is my newest addition, Sanctuary Arena. There are, up, if you walk up these stairs here, this is actually the controls. You just use this to open and, you know, close the, uh, the, the gates there. And... You go down these stairs and over here to the side, this is just a sitting area for the audience. Same thing over there. So that is pretty much it. Like I said, not very creative. I'm pretty proud of it though, because like, I'm not really a creative person. So what I did do, I'm pretty proud of. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, share it. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.